Hi, today we have something very simple and easy and Asian and it's very healthy and it's a soup very simple basic soup right here okay so we got um, ingredients we have is uh, wakami uh, seaweed and uh, corn flour and uh, oyster mushroom the king oyster mushroom and uh, onion silky tofu woody mushroom white coral mushroom and also spring onion crushed pepper soya sauce and abc sauce so now what we're going to do is we're going to put all together and cook together until the flavors comes and then we start adding the tofu so first we will put a bit of water because we try not to use any butter or margarine in this soup because it needs to be healthy and vegetarian so i just put some water just to blanch the so i put hot water here so you don't have to wait too long i put all the onions just to blanch it off that's all so uh, as I always say, you know, these are these type of soups, you can make it at home and it's very easy. You only need the ingredients. It's a summertime, winter time, doesn't matter. It's just a basic, simple soup to go along with your main meal or lunchtime you can have only this. So I'm gonna, while, while it's boiling up, we will slice some of these mushrooms. So I put all my mushrooms in. And this coral mushroom. This is nice, it's better. You can see. All this mushroom, beautiful number one, and has a lot of flavor. So as you can see, I'm gonna put this one whole. And then take the video mushroom. So I will still cut bigger pieces. The mushroom and everything what we put into these dishes, we need to make sure that cut them in bigger pieces where you possibly can because we spend a lot of money to buy the fresh ingredients, especially if we are in Melbourne, we have all the ingredients that are fresh. So best thing, you cut them bigger like that. So you have the pieces bite into your mouth. So the wakame goes in. The wakame is a seaweed, but this one I bought dry and it's put in water, it just become fresh. My silky tofu, this is very gentle. It has to be very gentle and add last into your dish. So now I'm gonna slice them, which is again, you need to slice them visual. Don't chop them. That's why I wanna put it last. So I'll move this one to my plate again. See, it's very gently, you have to move it because it's very fragile. Okay, now, now you can see that it's boiling. So start uh, bubbling up. So it is time to add your rest of the ingredients. So let's uh, add my soy sauce. We have a little bit of light soy sauce. I try not to put salt because this is um, soy sauce will give you that flavor, but this one is very strong flavor. So you just add a bit to give you that beautiful color plus that taste of soya. And then you have a bit of pepper. So you get the pepper here. So you got a little bit of spiciness in there and a bit of a kick. There you go. And Last thing is, we'll add some ABC sauce. The ABC sauce is like, it is soy sauce, it is thick, but it's sweeter. So I'm not gonna add sugar here, just that. So it gives that little bit of um, color to the soup and also the flavor. So as you can see, we didn't add anything else. So it's a simple taste of soup with all the mushrooms in there. So into my soup bowl, I will put some spring onion because it has a very strong flavor. Because you know, this, this is very subtle soup. You don't need to put too many flavors into it. So there you add some spring onion. And then now I'm gonna add my silky tofu. So because these ones are not to put and mix together because it'll break. 
So I'm going to add sufficient tofu into this soup bottom. And now, this is very important. You make this boil and my corn flour. Now you can see the soup is very thin, as you see. You see? It's very thin, like water. But not many Asian, especially Chinese flavors, has thin soup. So we're going to make it thick. So this is corn flour. Very simple, bit of water and corn flour together and go there. And you make it very thick, like so. So if you have hairy black fungi, which is the mushroom, black color like hair, you can add in, but I couldn't find any shop today. So there you are. So you can see it's now getting thick and good body. So when you have this body, is the one that you can add it to the bowl. So now I'm going to turn my fire off and take it out and pour it into my bowl. Look at this. Beautiful soup. So in this time, I want to advise you, if you want, you can add some coriander powder, some chili, some curry powder, even some turmeric. It's up to you. But the base is here now. So this is the final touch. And it's very, very simple and very easy. So please enjoy your afternoon tea. So that's all for the day. We'll see you again with a new recipe next week. Bye for now.